Okay, so if you have some regular shape in any number of dimensions, here's a way to understand all of its symmetries without using any algebra. You pick a vertex, call it O0. Then you pick any edge touching that vertex, call the middle of it O1. Then you pick any face touching that edge, call the middle of it O2. Make a red mirror line through O1 and O2, and a blue mirror line through O0 and O2. And now we're basically done. We have a kaleidoscope and we can understand all the symmetries using it. We just formed this chamber down here. I'm gonna call it the fundamental region. I'm gonna put this shape inside it and we're gonna reflect it round with our mirrors. Let's reflect it in the red line. Do you see how the vertices have been permuted because we used this red mirror? But what if we reflect it in the blue mirror? What if we reflect the red line in the blue line? We get this. You could call it a virtual mirror. What if we reflect this upper triangle in the blue line? Well, then we get this. Let's reflect it in the red line and then reflect that in the blue line. And we're done. How many symmetries does our triangle have? Six. How many chambers does this kaleidoscope have? Six. You can understand the symmetries of any regular polytope like this in any dimension. Let's do another example, this time with the cube. We pick any vertex, call it O0. Pick any edge that's touching it, call the middle of it O1. Pick any face that's touching that edge, call the middle of it O2. Any cell that's touching that face, call the middle of it O3. You could think of these four points as forming a tetrahedron or simplex. So make a red mirror that's opposite to O0 and it goes through the other points. Make a blue mirror that's opposite to O1 and it goes through the other points. Make a green mirror that's opposite O2 and goes through the other points. We've made this fundamental region here, this little irregular tetrahedron shaped chamber down here, and when we start reflecting things in this kaleidoscope that we've made with these three mirrors, we'll see all the symmetries of the cube. For example, if we reflect the red mirror in the blue mirror, we get this red mirror. And if we carry on reflecting things, we end up cutting this cube into these chambers with all of these mirrors and virtual mirrors. How many chambers do we get? 48. How many symmetries does a cube have? 48. The same idea applies to any regular polytope. I wonder if it could be used to make some kind of an optical analog of a quantum computer. Can we exploit kaleidoscopes so that they can process all of these permutations simultaneously? I just finished recording an epic video explaining all about these Coxeter groups and regular polytopes from the ground up. It's going to drop soon. I really hope you enjoy.